I can't believe it. You spoke to me twice in one week. Why shouldn't I? Uh, I don't know, you know? Last year, you acted like you didn't want to be around me. Oh, well, I never, ever want you to feel that way again. Red Hawk, closing in! Gotta go! Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let me know down below, who do you love? Some people really manage to do it all. And Little J is one of those people. Actor, rapper, producer, known to the world as Devon Carter from That's So Raven, one of Disney's channel's most iconic shows. Little J was the boyfriend of every young girl's dreams. So where's the handsome hunk today? And how has his career spanned out over the years? Let's find out. Jonathan Richard McDaniel was born on May 17, 1985 in Long Beach, California. From a very young age, Jonathan was fascinated with music. His family exposed him to stars like Michael Jackson and Tupac Shakur. By the age of seven, he was performing at his local Kmart, collecting money to produce his demo. Just a few years later, when he was just nine years old, he sought after the rapper LL Cool J, who he was a big fan of. When Jonathan spotted him at an autograph signing, he practically ran up to him, turned up his boombox, and started rapping like there was no tomorrow. Now, LL was blown away by the skills that this young boy had. In fact, the rapper was so impressed by Jonathan that he gave him free tickets to one of his concerts at the LA House of Blues. I ran up on LL Cool J at a autograph signing, mm -hmm. which is the same thing that he did in the movie Crush Groove. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people don't know. He ran up with the boombox, blah, 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 you know, and that's how he got noticed the young rapper was given special treatment at the concert when he was standing right in front of the stage the rap legend immediately got all the music turned off and called little jay on the stage to rap alongside him little jay also ended up giving his demo tapes to ll's people hoping it would help him set foot into the music industry with a bang although nothing ever came from that encounter he was still determined to show off his talent mcdaniel's talents was recognized by industry execs and he was soon in Orlando working with Transcontinental Records, star makers of the Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, and O-Town, before being signed by Hollywood Records. In 2001, he dropped his debut single, It's the Weekend. The party track was produced by Jermaine Dupri. Dance with me now. Move with me now. It's the weekend. Hey, yo, I heard the party back from the front to the back. The single topped Billboard's Hot R&B Hip Hop Single Sales Chart and number 53 on the Hot R&B Hip Hop Sales Chart. The track also appeared on the soundtrack for Nickelodeon's new movie, Fox Stoppers, and its video debuted on BET's 106 in Park. He then went ahead and released his debut album, All About Jay. According to the 16-year-old rapper himself, the album was all about having a fun time, and that's exactly how people received it. With the kind of response and acclaim that the rapper got from his first ever album, he went ahead and released his second album titled, Back to Jay. Now, Little Jay could have easily continued on with his career in music, but in the middle of all of it, he decided to switch gears and experiment with his acting skills. And well, let's just say that it was a pretty successful gamble. His first and most famous character was Devon Carter on the Disney's most famous show back then, That's So Raven. Hey, Ray. Oh, hey, Devon. Hey, hey Devon. Devon. Come on, let's, let's, let's. Alongside Raven Simone, the role instantly helped McDaniel become an instantly recognizable face for the kids' channel, opening up a lot of doors for him. With his comedic timing and charming looks, the actor started getting offers for the projects outside Disney. In 2004, he got small roles in Rings of Darkness and Nora's Hair Salon, alongside some of Hollywood's most prominent names, including Jennifer Lewis and Tatiana Ali. However, his role as Devon is what really helped him dominate the TV screens. His character was originally a nerd with braces and bad acting, but then he had a major glow up one summer before school, making all the girls at the Bayside High School want to date him, especially Raven and her arch nemesis, Elena. In 2006, he voice acted as Mike Fresh on The Jammies. 
At the same time, he kept his music career going along on the side. He made a big transition in his career as a rapper as well by saying farewell to Hollywood Records and signing on with SMC Recordings to release his third studio album, Act Like I Left Something, in 2006. And when he wasn't too busy being Little J, McDaniel was still very much a part of the Disney Channel, even going ahead and starring in the original movie, Johnny Kapahala, back on the board in 2007, keeping up his reputation of playing the role of the funny and charming Sam Sterling. A few years later in 2010, Little J signed on yet to another record label. This time, the London-based Transmission Records to release his first ever digital single, London Girl. Around the same time, he hit a big milestone in his acting career when he was offered the role of Extra Keys for the 2012 film In the Hive. A 16-year-old boy who wants to raise his son better than his alcoholic mother raised him and his siblings. However, he is suddenly pulled out of his father's gang and put into reform school, completely changing his life. McDaniel starred in the film alongside Hollywood legend Michael Clark Duncan, who played the role of Mr. Hollis, a father figure to all the boys in the reform school, with what was one of Duncan's last roles before his death. The film features McDaniel in a role unlike anything he had ever done before, earning him tons of acclaim for his bold performance. What's even more surprising is the fact that the film was only shot in a span of 18 days, with the actor giving one of his best performance of his career. In 2013, he landed a role on Hit the Floor, a sports drama on VH1. The show revolved around the lives of Los Angeles Devils girls, the cheerleaders for the Los Angeles Devils, a fictional professional basketball team. Jonathan played the role of German Vega, the assistant coach of the Devils, along with having a few interesting dynamics with some of the girls on the cheerleading squad as well. The actor was a permanent member of the cast until 2018, when the show officially came to an end, and he received tons of praise for his effortless performance, almost making us all believe that he really was a basketball player. According to the actor himself, playing German has given him the opportunity to carry a character with so many levels. While German starts off sweet and innocent, we realize that he may not be who we think he is, with the actor managing to maintain the suspense throughout each season. In 2017, it was officially announced that the show that got him started in his acting career, That's So Raven, was once again going to come back on the air with the reboot. The spinoff titled Raven's Home premiered in July and showed Raven as a single mother of twins Booker and Nia. And guess who their dad was? That's right, Devon Carter. <laughs> Else? Kids ready for school? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you didn't have to come up here. I would have sent them down. Now, can't I just stop by to say hello to my lovely ex-wife? McDaniel has a recurring role in the TV show. Fun fact, originally the producers planned to introduce a new character named David to be the father of Raven's twins, but also their plans once Jonathan agreed to play the role. So it all worked out in the end and the fans got what they wanted. Along with prominent roles like these, McDaniel has also made appearances in films such as Clockstoppers, Call Me King, and Alien Abdiction, to just name a few. As far as the future goals, McDaniel is definitely going to be making appearances here and there on Raven's Home, and he has no plans to end his acting career anytime soon. On the other hand, his music is still going in full swing, with his most recent release being the single, I Cry. Now that he has the time, he is really excited to get back into music and commit himself to this particular direction because he wants people to know who he is as a musician. One thing that's certain, Jonathan McDaniel is unpredictable. From rapping to acting and producing, there's really nothing that this man won't do. So the only thing left for us to do is wait and watch for his next move. Well, that's a wrap for the story of Little J. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. See you next time with something new. Until then, let me know down below, who do you love? Who do you love? Who do you love? Who do you love? Support them, support them, and show them, and show them.